Well, it is that time of year, meaning it is time to get the horse blankets ready to be used a lot for the winter. So I thought it might be helpful if I showed you how to not only clean and wash your horse blankets, but also to waterproof them. So get ready, get set, here we go. <laughs> Hello my equestrian friends, yes it is me Lisa as the budget equestrian and today we are going to be washing some horse blankets. Now this is Pleasant's winter blanket and you can see it is pretty grody. Yeah that's pretty disgusting so I want to clean this up before I put it back on him this winter. And to wash your horse blankets you really don't need too much. You need a pressure washer, some soap, and some waterproofing materials. So the first thing I did was lay out the horse blanket and really just kind of saturate it with some soapy water. And I really need to get all of this mud and manure off of the horse blanket so that it's nice and clean for Pleasant for this winter. And I know they're disgusting, so please don't hate on the disgustingness. This is what happens when you have horses and they roll in the mud and the manure but I'm being a diligent horse owner and I am cleaning my blankets before I use them again this winter. I'm pretty sure you can tell what I'm doing right now. I am pressure washing the blanket. I'm getting all of that mud and manure and debris off of the blanket. And to do this, I just use my pressure washer and I put in one of the flings. I think that's what they're called. It's basically gain laundry detergent. And I put that in the canister for my soap. And I'm turning myself into the washing machine and I am washing the blanket. And it actually cleans up really easy this way. You can actually see the Rambo name brand on the straps that go across his tummy. Now, I don't know about you, but it's pretty satisfying to see that mud and gook come off. Oh yeah, get off of there. Yes, get rid of all of that mud and manure. And I'm just going over the entire blanket with the pressure washer. I wanna get rid of everything, all of the debris and stuff on the outside of the blanket. And then I'm gonna flip it over and do the inside of the blanket as well. But most importantly, I got to get all this dirt and stuff off of the blanket. Once I'm done with the outside, then I flip it over and I pressure wash the inside of the blanket as well. And I bet you're probably thinking, but wait, if you pressure wash that blanket, you're going to take away all of the waterproofing on the outside of the blanket. And to an extent, you're right. When you wash a horse blanket, it can remove the protective waterproofing that has been done on the outside of the blanket. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how we are going to re-waterproof the blanket in just a few minutes. But right now we are focusing on cleaning the inside of the blanket and this is the side that is against my horse's skin so I want to make sure to get all of that hair and dander and anything off that could potentially irritate him when he's wearing the blanket during the winter. So if you have a pressure washer you can see that you can wash your horse blankets yourself. And hopefully you still have time. Hopefully it's not too cold where you're at. And if I was really planning ahead I would have done this last spring but by the time winter was over, I was over it. I was done. So I pretty much just put the blankets away. 
I think you can see the pressure washer gets this thing pretty clean. And then I hung up the blanket over the railing in front of my house and I gave it one more wash down just to make sure I get all of that soap off of the blanket. All right, now it's hanging up and waiting to dry. And I think it took about a day and a half for the blanket to be completely dry. And that wasn't the only blanket I had to clean. I had to clean Pleasant's medium weight blanket. And I also needed to clean Frisbee's blanket too. So this is just a speeded up version so you can see all of that dirt and everything is coming off. And I don't know, I think it's kind of satisfying to watch somebody cleaning a horse blanket. But yes, this is something you can DIY. You don't need to take your horse blanket in and have it washed. You can do this yourself if you have a pressure washer. If you don't have a pressure washer, you could probably still clean it with a hose and one of the little handheld sprayers, but I don't think it would get to the point of being as clean as it is with the pressure washer. All right, so this one is done. So I'm gonna hang him up so he can dry. And once the blankets were dry, it was time to do the waterproofing. So I took the blankets to someplace far away from my house, far away from my horses, so I can put on the waterproofing material. Thankfully, I have this fence because it works really great for hanging horse blankets over. That's number two. And here is number three, and this is the heavy duty, super, super heavy winter blanket that Pleasant wears a lot of the time in the winter because he is pretty thin skinned and he gets cold. So this blanket really sees a lot of use. So I really wanna make sure I get this one waterproofed well. And you might be wondering, how do I waterproof a horse blanket? Well, this product right here, this is called Scotchgard Outdoor Weather Shield. And this is a waterproofing product and it works great for horse blankets. But as you can see, I've got a mask because this stuff is pretty toxic. So you really wanna wear a mask and you wanna wear gloves while you're applying the waterproofing. All right, so now we just shake it up and then we apply the waterproofing to the blankets. Sometimes this can be hard to find. I looked in stores and I couldn't find it, but I was able to find it on Amazon. And I was able to fully waterproof three blankets with this one can of the waterproofing material. And this stuff is pretty stinky. So even though I'm wearing a mask, I can still smell it. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty stinky. So I just followed the instructions on the label. And once my blankets were saturated with the Scotch Guard, I left them up to dry overnight. So this isn't a process that can be done like, you know, in an hour or two. It does take several steps to get your horse blankets clean and waterproof and ready for the winter but it definitely gives me peace of mind knowing that my horse's blankets are clean, 
they're gonna stay warm and dry this winter because I was able to get their blankets clean and waterproofed just in time for winter. And just in case you can't find the Scotch Guard in your local stores, I will leave a link down below that'll take you to the Amazon page where you can actually purchase this online. All right, the Scotch Guard can is empty. I am done. It is time to get rid of this stuff and time for me to go work on a new video for you. Mm -hmm.